in the spirit real <laughs> yeah, fast. Yeah, no kidding. Well, a live Christmas tree, of course, one of the most vivid, joyful symbols of the holiday season. Yeah, and yet military men and women that are overseas, they really never get to enjoy this Christmas treasure, but that is changing thanks to generous tree farmers in Indiana and around the country. Our Carrie Klein is live at Dole's Tree Farm in Thorntown, where the Trees for Troops program kicks off this morning. Hi, Carrie. Yeah, good morning, Julia and Ben. You know what? Nothing puts you in the holiday spirit faster than mm, that sweet pine smell of a Christmas tree. And this is what a lot of military men and women uh, serving in our U.S. military around the world miss out on sometimes during Christmas. But that is changing thanks to the Trees for Troops program. And joining me now, I have to talk more about that, is Tom Dull, the owner and operator here at Dull's Tree Farm. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thanks for being here. Yeah. I'm glad to have you. You guys are, you're part of the Indiana Christmas Tree Growers Association. Did I get that right? Well done, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, so it's part of, uh, you guys are, are, are the reason that a big share of these trees are being donated to the program. Talk to me a little bit about how special it is to be able to help help provide these trees for our U.S. military men and women. Well, you hit the nail on the head uh, right there as you opened the segment by that aroma. Yeah. Um, can you imagine just putting yourself in the, in the place of one of those service folks who, who receive one of these boxes from the FedEx truck and open that box up and get that aroma uh, out of there and, and what those kinds of, what, what kind of memories that that will instill in them and, and the, the thoughts that that um, they will have about home and and the things that they're missing yeah. uh, while they're apart from their families and for us as growers it's just a it's just a, a small way that we can give back to the service that they provide for us and and we're we're really happy to be able to be involved Oh, we're so grateful for, for growers like you contributing to this. And like you said, it makes their job just a little bit easier being away from their families during the holidays. Well, I think, I think it would. Mm -hmm. um, there was, there was uh, a few years ago when we were involved in the program mm -hmm. uh, at church, a, mm -hmm. a young man came up to me and he said, Mr. Dahl, I said, yes. He said, stuck out his head and said, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea who he was. And, and I said, you're welcome, but what for? Mm -hmm. And he said, I was the recipient of one of those oh. trees um, when I was in Afghanistan. And, wow. and so that really brought it home to me that we are making a difference. And, and he, he talked about what it meant to him. Yeah, making so. a big difference. Tom Dole, thank you so much for sharing that story and for all that you guys are doing. And again, that Trees for Troops program is going to kick off right here. The national program going to kick off right here in Thorntown later on this morning. An army of volunteers coming in from FedEx, from the Christmas Spirit Foundation, all partnering together to get these trees together, get them boxed up, and get them shipped out. About 200 trees going out today to two bases in Guam. Coming up in our next hour here on Sunrise, we're going to talk a little bit more about how this program comes together and what it really means to those service members. Ben, Julia. Yeah, what a story. What a wow. team effort. We do take for granted that so many of us can spend the holidays with our family. This is going to make Christmas so much brighter mm -hmm. for our troops serving. Yeah, great stuff, Carrie. Thanks.